Coming off a strong performance in 2019, Toronto Hustle have big plans for 2020. The launch of one of Canada's first women's gravel teams, the men's team lining up at some of the biggest UCI races in North America, advocacy work in the community, and continuing to grow the women's cycling community. This all changed as the global pandemic spread, a season that ended before it really began, a season that was lost and then found. The whole global pandemic, COVID-19, uh, you know, nobody was anticipating this. You know, I'm really excited for the upcoming season. Joe Martin. For the Rift. Paris Ancaster. The Reggie Ramble. A lot of European races. So we're headed to Dirty Kansas this year. We all got in through the lottery, which was sweet. One of my goals is always to keep growing the women's cycling community. Uh, so my number one fear is staying healthy. So I definitely fear something unforeseen coming in and messing that up. There's a chance that something could you know, derail what could otherwise be a really fun and successful season. We did get out to Greece to race uh, in March. That was a really amazing race and an eye-opening race for sure. I'd never raced a UCI stage race before and it was as hard as promised. Uh, I suffered every day. I came back lighter, stronger, faster uh, and was extremely disappointed to find out that the entire rest of the season was cancelled. Unfortunately that turned out to be the only race we did. Teammate and I, Nick, were in Spain when COVID hit, um, so we were there preparing for the season. Unexpectedly, we were basically forced out of the country. Uh, we were in uh, Spain when it all uh, kicked off, and we read a tweet that they were going to shut down Catalonia. So we had a day's time to organize flights and pack up our apartment. We were all disappointed to see the, the race season sort of evaporate in front of us. It's hard to not be slightly disappointed about being like impacted by COVID. When I realized the season was over, obviously I was disappointed. I had been working so hard up to that point. And then once I heard the news that Nationals was cancelled, I knew that the season was, was fully done. Uh, I rode with friends and I rode for fun. Uh, and I have to say it was one of the most enjoyable summers I've had on the bike. I tried bikepacking for the first time. Like, just the way I fell in love with it the first time. I just simply wanted to ride my bike and that would brought me to racing. And it was nice to reflect back on those times. And we wouldn't be here without the friends and the family and the partners who have believed in us since day one. 2020 has been an important reminder that there's a lot more to our cycling community than racing. We rallied together to support a global pandemic relief effort, used our voices to push for safer streets, encouraged friends and family to dust off their bikes, and fell in love all over again with the joy of riding. 2020 tested our resilience as a team and as a community, but it has also offered an opportunity to reflect on why we ride and how we can all make a difference. <laughs>